Well, why the city? Because everyone is on the city right now. And it seems that we are going to be more people inside of the cities. I choose farm because I like the idea of produce a lot of food inside of the city. So it's not a garden, it should be a farm. And this re came by the materials, no? the reuse of certain materials, the, this idea that you are part of a cycle, that nev everything in nature uh, does not disappear, is, everything is transformed. Here are the ruins of the Circo Romano. Y los huertos son desde esta escalera que baja, desde esta pared hasta la pared blanca que está al final. Right now we are in New York, Buenos Aires, Paris, Lisbon, Barcelona, Beijing. This will be the next uh, refarm. I think it's going to be the circus farm because under this there is uh, the Roman circus. It's going to be the first refarm over UNESCO patrimony. So we, we must take uh, good care of this place. Since this place, uh, we don't have a lot of rainfall here on the city, we are trying to get uh, water from, uh, from these neighbors. Water from the bath, water from the kitchen. We will get that water, we will make a small water treatment station here and we will use that water to watering the farms. And the idea is more than go to every city. The idea is more understand what kind of tools those cities will need. Every time we go to a city and make a workshop, we make one board for each city. This is the Buenos Aires edition. This is uh, Barcelona edition. Uh, New York, Beijing. The, the students get these boards after they have built the farm structure and get soil and decide what are they going to seed. After that, they built the, the electronic board. They, they learn uh, all the components, what are they, uh, what do they do, and uh, how to control this board. So this board, you need to send a program to, to the microchip so we, we can act uh, according to the values of your farm. Okay, so this is the Refarm on Vacations board. So you can connect uh, four humidity sensors here. You can connect uh, level sensors to understand if you have got water stored or not. You can control uh, high voltage from here. You can put three, three water pumps and uh, you have got also radio transmission. This gets all the information from the farm. You have got light and temperature sensors also connected to her. So from this, this board goes to a scarecrow and stays on the farm. And then you have got these uh, small boards and this one you connect to your computer and this board communicates with that one so you can have uh, real-time communication. Really, we farm the city are tools for urban farmers, open tools. So it's not only hardware, it's also software, it's uh, tools that can say to you, uh, based on your location, what are the best vegetables to grow, what is the local gastronomy, how the seasons control everything on your life. You can learn uh, the weather profile of your city, you can know who is around you and uh, if those people are making uh, urban farming also. Okay. From the last time that we were together, well, Refarm the city was just some small bottles with <laughs> some herbs. We have the jucla, the habanos, the menta. I had the problem of uh, I went on vacations uh, and when I came back uh, everything was dead so it was like a turning point I must make some kind of watering system for this farm well for those bottles Este es un sistema de de riego a... que estamos probando a ver si funciona es una garrafa de agua normal un motor de una impresora y la válvula es es de una bici Isto vai conectado a um, a um micro ordenador. By that time, I was also learning programming and uh, Arduino, open software and open hardware tools. So it was like an opportunity to mix my little farm with those technologies. 
Los componentes electrónicos los he encontrado en vídeos antiguos, en impresoras, en cosas de basura. Y bueno, este es un microordenador que conectado a este, mira, que conectado a, al huerto, bueno, nos irá a, con, a hacer el control de, de agua, de agua de, del huerto. By that time, I've made a, just a small board that could read the, the humidity from the soil and then send an order to the computer to start watering or not. Because I didn't want what the commercial systems have. They have a watering system that is a clock. That every day you watering the same amount of water. And I would like to have something more sensitive. So this is our newest prototype. The idea here is to make a, a more cheap way to control the watering system of your farm. So you have got a, a pressure sensor over here. You have got this column of water and you have got uh, inside of the farm, you have got a ceramic filter. And this part is a sensor that gives you the readings of the moisture that is inside of the farm. When the moisture goes below a certain level, the sensor will say that to the microcomputer and the microcomputer says to the water valve open and this water valve lets the water pass and makes the watering system. This is a system that has a very slow response. The microcontrol uh, is constant, uh, is always asking to the sensor for information. So you, you send to the water valve uh, open The water valve starts watering the farm and stops after some seconds, waits one hour and then asks again to the sensor what is the reading. So this is a constant ask and response uh, system. We are trying to make this uh, very low budget. The, the electronic board only has a microcontroller, a very small one. So this part is going to be, be very cheap. Uh, this water valve, this one came from a washing machine. The water pressure sensor, this one came from a dishwasher machine. So th this idea of getting raw materials from the city was also very important since the beginning. So from cars, we normally get these water pumps from the windshield wiper and we get also some electro valves, uh, like this one here. This one came from a washing machine. We are always trying to find uh, this stuff that you have got in the city. They are already made. They are normally trash because they have ended their life cycle. We try to get them and try to give a second life to them. This is the first prototype of uh, the refarm board. It was made by hand. It has the Arduino electronics inside, but it also has other electronics like the a watering system sensor, the controllers for the water pumps and the radios also. After this, uh, we went to an, uh, a better design. We left the Arduino platform because we want that people build their own board so they can learn about electronics, they, they learn what is a resistor, what is a microprocessor, what does it do, how to communicate with the board and stuff like that. All this hardware that ReFarm is trying to make already exists, but it's, everything is copyrighted. So there is here, these tools are open, so you don't have, uh, you can use the code of refarming, you can use the board of refarm, you can change it, you can control whatever you want, so all the tools are open. So here on the wiki, uh, well you start from the beginning, no? So you have got instructions uh, how to build a farm, then you have got uh, the board's overview and the instructions, the diagrams of them step-by-step -step instructions to tell you how to, how to make your own board. So after you have got the structure of the farm made and the electronic boards, you build the sensors. Uh, you have got also your step-by-step -step instructions how to build your uh, moisture sensors. Then you need to build a, a watering system. This is open. This is open. When you are talking about uh, 
if people can feed themselves or not, uh, <laughs> you really don't have any choice, you know. Uh, you, you, these tools must be open. And then you will go coding, like test sensors, uh, code, code by radio and stuff like that. Most of these intelligence systems of monitoring farms are really expensive and they have a lot of proprietary rights and stuff like that. So when you try to buy one of that, uh, they will sell you everything, even the computer they will sell you. <laughs> you know, you, you get all the package, you can change anything and everything is, is custom made, but it's very expensive. And, 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 and people at this scale, where they are not making industrial farming, when they are making only small farms to try to make some vegetables to their own table, they really don't need that much technology. What they really need is uh, they, they need to have access to the knowledge, to know what works on their conditions, on their cities, what, what doesn't work what are the main constraints and the main problems of your context. So the software can give you some information about what are the vegetables from around you, information from watering. You also have instructions how to build a composter. This is one of the most important tools that we have here at our house. We put here all the, our organic uh, stuff Compost is it's fundamental. It's a lot of trash that you don't put on the system. Well, these two boxes are full. We have been collecting here the last two years. So this year, for example, we didn't bought any humus to the farm. Yeah, we have just seeded yesterday. The technology of refarm sometimes is very high-tech and sometimes is very low-tech. These ones are from, from water dispensers and you have got uh, this floor that is full of soil and, uh, and this one here is full of water. And uh, let me show you what connects uh, in them. You see a sock? <laughs> So the sock is full of soil and the water goes through capillarity to the soil. So it's a way that you can, uh, you can have an automatic watering system without any electronics, without uh, any electricity, nothing. Uh, these ones are fundamental. I need her to eat some bugs in here. One of the most important things for me in, inside of the concept of refarm a city is this idea that you are part of a cycle that nev everything in nature does not disappear is everything is transformed so you you must have conscious this idea that a city is an organism and you must treat it well so that you can also live well inside of it <laughs>